In an ideal world, toys shouldn't be banned because they would be made safe enough for children to play with. However, there can be many reasons for toys to be banned by governments or schools. Sometimes toys that have the potential to cause injuries or accidents like choking hazards or burn hazards are banned to keep kids safe and sound. Similarly, toys that contain potentially toxic substances or chemicals can be banned to protect little ones from any nasty health problems. Well, on the other hand, toys that are super loud or disruptive in the classroom may be banned to keep the learning environment focused and distraction free. Additionally, toys that could potentially be used to pass secret messages or cheat during exams may be banned in schools to keep things, you know, fair and square. Also, toys that may be considered offensive or inappropriate in certain cultures may be banned to avoid causing any offense or promoting negative stereotypes. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 kids' toys that have been banned for strange reasons. Twenty-five. Power Rangers Light Up Sabers Power Rangers Light Up Sabers were the ultimate toy for any fan of the hit TV show. These super cool swords had a light up feature that added an extra layer of excitement to playtime. Unfortunately, these beloved toys were banned in the US in 2002 due to a small cylindrical light bulb inside the plastic casing that posed a choking hazard for young children. Now, I don't have that exact one, but I do have the, it's, it's dead. It's, it's supposed to play like it's electronic. I gotta find the batteries. I don't know, I forget how to change the batteries on this thing. 24, Aqua Dots. These colorful dots could be arranged into various designs and then sprayed with water to fuse them. However, in 2007, Aqua Dots were banned in the US due to the presence of a chemical called 1,4-butandiol. When ingested, this chemical can convert into GHB a central nervous system depressant that has been used as a date rape drug. 23. Clacker Balls Clacker Balls were banned in the US in the 1970s because they were considered a choking hazard. The balls, which were made of two hard acrylic hemispheres that were connected by a hinge, could break easily and produce sharp shards that posed a risk of injury. In addition, the balls made a loud noise when they were played with, which could be annoying to some people. 22. Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future was a popular toy line, an accompanying TV show that was released in 1987. The toys featured small handheld phasers that could be used to shoot beams of light at targets or the TV screen during the show. However, the toy line was eventually banned in the US because it was found to emit a potentially harmful beam when used with the TV show. The beam was deemed to be potentially harmful to the eyes of young children and could cause serious injuries. 21. Lawn Darts Players would take turns throwing small weighted darts at a circular target on the ground trying to get as close to the center as possible. The game was a hit in the 70s and 80s, but unfortunately it was banned in the UK in 1988 due to safety concerns. The heavy weight of the darts and their sharp points made them a hazard, particularly for young children. 20. Furbies you Remember Furbies? They were hugely popular toys in the late 90s and early 2000s. They were electronic interactive creatures that could move and make sounds on their own. Because they were too distracting to students, some schools in the US banned these furry little toys. And they're furbish. Never had one. 19. Laser pointers. Laser pointers are handheld devices that emit a beam of concentrated light, you know, a laser, typically used for pointing out objects or as a presentation aid. Unsurprisingly, laser pointers were banned in some schools in the US because they were found to be a distraction. Guilty as charged. <laughs> I would bring mine to school. Yep. I miss mine. I need a new one. 18. Super Soaker. Super Soaker water guns are a type of toy that shoots a stream of water when squeezed. They were popular in the 90s and are still enjoyed by many today. However, in the US, some cities banned Super Soaker water guns because they were found to be a disturbance and could potentially be used to cause harm to others. I was never allowed to own one because one time my grandma got me a little squirt gun shaped like a dolphin and when you pull the trigger, the mouth opened and it came out and just one of those ones where you have to go like this, soaked my entire bathroom. So I was never allowed to have a Super Soaker because if I could do all that with just a little one, uh, nope, yeah. 17. Soccer boppers. Soccer boppers are inflatable toys that are meant to be worn on the hands and used for, you know, play fighting. However, they were banned in some cities in the US because they were found to be a choking hazard and could even cause serious injuries or death if swallowed. 
The small size of the inflatable parts and the risk of them being swallowed made the toy a potential hazard. And right now I'm gonna call Mandela Effect. I could have sworn they were called Sock'em Boppers. I even remember the commercial. Sock'em Boppers, Sock'em Boppers, more fun than a pillow fight. Fight me, it was Sock'em Boppers. Not soccer, Sock'em. 16, Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids have been around since the 80s and have won the hearts of kids and adults alike. However, the dolls were unfortunately banned in some cities in the US due to safety concerns. The small size of the doll's parts posed a choking hazard, and there was a risk of them being swallowed, which could lead to serious injuries or even death. Despite the ban, Cabbage Patch Kids remain a beloved and popular toy for many collectors. 15. Tamagotchi Who doesn't remember Tamagotchi? Yep, this is a Digimon. I used to have a Tamagotchi, but I have a Digimon now. Just got this a few months ago. This digital pet toy was popular in the 90s. Players had to care for it by feeding it, playing with it and cleaning up after it. However, Tamagotchi was banned in some schools in the US because the beeping sound and the need for attention from the player could disrupt the learning environment. I'm gonna be guilty of a lot of these. My Tamagotchi was taken from me and run over by my teacher's truck because of the beeping. Rest in peace, Zippy. Rest in peace. 14, <laughs> Squ squirt guns. Everyone's heard of squirt guns. I just talked about one earlier. But did you know that they were banned in some US cities and sometimes in Estrin households? Squirt guns are toys that shoot a stream of water when squeezed. They're popular with children and are often used for play fighting. However, if misused, squirt guns could be used to cause harm to others. If I recall, I believe some kids threw bleach in there to squirt them. I think that was the catalyst for that. 13, Sky Dancers. Sky Dancers were popular in the 90s. They're a type of toy that consists of a plastic base and a figure with spinning propeller-like wings. When the base is wound up and the figure is released, the wings spin and the figure dances in the air. However, Sky Dancers were found to be a choking hazard and could cause serious injuries or even death if swallowed. Can we just all stop swallowing things? Is that, okay, just stop. Watch your kids. Stop, stop eating toys, children. 12. Moon shoes. Moon shoes are footwear for kids who want to feel like they're walking on the moon. These funky shoes consist of a rubber or elastic band that fits over the foot and has a small trampoline-like surface on the bottom. With a pair of moon shoes, kids can bounce and jump to their heart's content unless their parents didn't get the moon shoes, didn't, wasn't allowed to have these either. <laughs> Simulating the experience of walking on the moon. Unfortunately, moon shoes were banned in some places due to safety concerns. The unpredictable bounce and the risk of tripping and falling made the toy a potential hazard. 11. Slip and Slide Slip and Slide is a type of backyard water toy that consists of a long plastic mat coated with a slick surface and attached to a garden hose. Players can slide down the mat and into the pool of water at the end. However, Slip and Slide could cause serious injuries or even death. 10. Yo-Yos I bet you didn't even know that yo-yos had been banned in some places. Everybody knows that a yo-yo is a type of toy that consists of a small spool attached to two strings. Players can make the yo-yo spin by pulling the strings and can perform various tricks by manipulating the strings. Guys, throw a yo-yo up here, make me look cool. However, yo-yos were banned in some schools in the US because they were found to be a distraction and could potentially cause injuries if used improperly. Yep. Around the world. Nine, Pudo. Pudo is a gross-out toy for kids, but that's not why it was banned. This funky clay is designed to look and smell like feces. Oh, smell like? Providing endless opportunities for gross and giggly play. Pudo was banned in some countries in the 90s due to concerns about harmful chemicals. The presence of these chemicals made the toy a potential hazard, leading to the ban in some countries. I'm gonna go ahead and say good. Eight, Magnetics Magnetic Building Sets. These tiny plastic building blocks are equipped with magnets on the ends, allowing players to connect them and build all sorts of amazing structures and shapes. They were banned in the US in 2006 due to safety concerns. The small size of the toy and the risk of the magnets coming loose and being swallowed made the toy a potential hazard. Seven, snap bracelets. Snap bracelets consist of a strip of metal covered in fabric or rubber. The bracelet is designed to snap and curl around the wrist when it's stretched and released. However, snap bracelets were banned in some schools and other public places in the 90s because they were found to be a choking hazard. Who's eating these? Quit it! 
Uh, I was allowed to have slap bracelets. And this is, yep, this is my Figment magic band. This is how I get into Disney. Yep, doesn't really work over the watch. Yep, ah, nailed it. Six, Easy Bake Ovens. Easy Bake Ovens are a type of toy oven that allows children to bake small snacks using special mixes and light bulbs as a heat source. However, they were banned in the US in 2013 because they were found to be a burn hazard and could cause serious injuries. The heating element, which was located close to the food, could cause burns to the hands and faces of children. Five, Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway Toys. Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway Toys are a popular brand of toy trains and train sets that are made out of, you know, wood. However, they were banned in the US in 2016 because they were found to contain high levels of lead, which can cause serious health problems if ingested. Four, Fidget Spinners. Fidget spinners claim to be the ultimate stress reliever for those who need a little extra help focusing, ADHD. These nifty toys consist of a small ball bearing based device that can be spun between the fingers, providing a physical outlet for energy and helping people with anxiety or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder focus. Ironically, fidget spinners were banned in some schools in the 2010s due to concerns about distraction and potential misuse. That one kind of hurts. As someone with ADHD, the people who didn't actually need these were the ones getting it banned. So, neat. Three, Kinder Surprise Eggs. These chocolate eggs that contain a small toy inside continue to be a popular treat for children around the world. But did you know that they were banned in the US in 1997 because they were found to be a choking hazard, like literally everything else on this list? Two, Buckyballs. Buckyballs consist of small, powerful magnets that can be shaped or molded into various forms. However, buckyballs were banned in the US in 2012 because they could cause serious injuries or even death, say it with me, if swallowed. Yep. So these aren't the balls. I do have those somewhere. These are the bucky cubes. But yeah, they're, uh, you could just kind of play with them and rearrange them and stuff. They're kind of fun. Oh, oh. Now I have to make it back into a cube. Nailed it. One, squeaky baby dolls. Coming in at number one are squeaky baby dolls, which are a type of toy doll that makes a squeaking sound when squeezed. Believe it or not, they were banned in some countries in the 80s because they were found to emit a potentially harmful gas when squeezed. Oh, that is an overlook. So, did you own any of these banned toys? Have any other toys that you loved been banned? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answers to us at list25. Don't forget to follow, like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, including our shorts in case you want little bite 25 versions of these lists. Maybe you don't have time. Maybe you just wanna watch a couple. So uh, also join our Discord. It's becoming, it's growing. And if you can, please think about becoming a member so that you can uh, help support this channel so we can help so that we can help, so that we can bring more of this amazing content to you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And as always, see you next time. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.